Hello beautiful Capricorns! How are you doing out there in YouTube land? Welcome to my channel. Scorpio 1111 and that's me. I am Darlene and as the title as you saw to this video will be about your monthly love reading. What's going to be happening in your love life for the next month? Now I've asked the question of the deck and I'm going to start shuffling for you. Hope you are all doing very, very well and healthy and happy. And I would ask um, that you stay tuned to the end. I'm going to tell you how you can get a free reading from me. I just want to come out. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So, what else? What else business do I have for you? Oh, yes. And this is a new reading that I'm adding to my channel, a monthly love reading. And so, whichever zodiac sign has the most likes on their video, I will be doing a bonus reading for that sign. It will be a weekly reading, so be sure and hit that like button if you'd like to see more. Thank you. Please and thank you. And let's see. Lastly, oh yeah, I have um, other playlists. If you have lost a deceased loved one, I have a long playlist of readings for that and also collective readings. If this is your first time here, thank you so very much for visiting my channel. I appreciate you. Whoops, there we go. And, well, oh goodness, more than that. Okay, all right, good. This deck is usually, uh, takes longer to talk than that, so to speak. My goodness, you get a lot of cards. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm going to take a minute to tune into this so I'll get quiet here and then we'll uh, get right into it for you. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let me put my note here. Okay. Capricorn, you... <laughs> now, oh, before I forget, this, of course, this reading is timeless because I don't put a, a particular calendar day on here. So whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. And also the energies can be reversed. So if this doesn't sound like your story, it could be your person's story. Bear that in mind, please. You know, the death card is about change, it's about transformation, it can be about endings. You do have, at the beginning and the ending of your cards here, you have cards that represent endings. So this could be an ending to something that has not turned out as you had hoped it would. It's, um, this is the card of losing, well, in reverse, it means you've lost hope in this situation. Something, someone here, was unwilling to get a new perspective or unwilling to surrender to the relationship fully. And it's caused you a lot of anxiety. I say you, again, could be your person. Caused a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, worry. It's something that you, you wanted, you or your person, you wanted justice. You wanted a balance in the relationship when it came to love. There was love here and I'm feeling uh, Capricorn, this well could be you, but again, if the story as it unfolds sounds more like your person than you, then please apply that. <clears throat> but somebody who gave their cup of love then found out that it, it either, I heard it wasn't reciprocated is what I'm hearing, or it, this person's actions may not be reciprocating what you're feeling. Um, because the Ten of Cups for me, especially in reverse, can be something that you feel is too much of a good thing. It, it ended up, you'd hoped it would be your happily ever after, and it ended up, of course, not being that. And you may be feeling like it was just too much of a good thing. How could I ever have believed that that was going to work out or whatever? And I feel now, whoever this is, is pouring yourself, you're pouring yourself into your work. And again, this is for the upcoming month. So you're just going to be focusing on your work 
trying to forget about what disappointed you in the past, what disappointed you, again, this is an ending, so, it, but it's hard, it's hard to forget about it, and sometimes you, you want to go back and you want to think about it, you want to, you know, it's human nature is to ruminate in our minds because you want the truth. I think this is what the universe is giving you this month, it's giving you change and transformation here. It's giving you the truth of your situation here. It could be saying someone just took too darn long. Somebody took too darn long to step up to the plate is what I'm hearing here. Yeah. And you could, or you, this again, it could be your person could have communicated that. Look, I'm not going to wait anymore. I, this is, I know you say what you say, but I'm just not going to wait anymore. It's taking too, too long. Um, you know, we say this is this, where you say this is a card of spying. That could be, maybe you're looking in on this person after um, an ending to see what they're up to. Because I think, I think this is your energy, Capricorn. You're having a hard time walking away from this. I don't think you, I think you love this person. I don't think you wanted this to be, wanted this to be over or wanted this to end. I think you, you know, this is the card of not being able to walk away from something, but your love was not reciprocated. Again, I'm kind of coming back to that energy, the king and queen of cups, but she's in reverse. And there's no gender in tarot. So if I say he or she, it's what's on the card. Um, I just feeling my, my feeling about these cards, the way I'm interpreting these is somebody's love here was not reciprocated. But you're starting to get clarity about that. You're starting to understand, you know, for a while you were overthinking it. Now you're starting to understand about why you were left out in the cold. And what I'm hearing here, which I don't often get this, but rejection is protection. And I'm sure you've all heard that, but I think you're finally understanding why the universe is having, is, is ending this cycle or is you're just feeling inspired to end it, whatever, or perhaps this person, because you realize your happiness may lie somewhere else. This can also mean that somebody is holding, that was holding back their cup of love, this can also be emotional being overly sensitive, overly emotional, or even emotionally unstable, um, maybe because you were overthinking it. You know, we get in that, what I think that Chinese call monkey mind. Um, but you're starting to come out of that. You want very much to come out of, the, out of that feeling out in the cold. It, you know, you're not, you're getting better, but you're not out of it yet. But there has been there's been a lot of illumination here for you, Capricorn, about what you feel is worthy for you to stand up for. What you feel, like, you know, fighting the good fight here, standing your ground about something. And I feel like that's what's happened here. Somebody has stood their ground about what was. Um, maybe you just had to put up boundaries with somebody. Maybe that was it because it's been a heavy burden and you're just, you're just over it. You're just, <laughs> you're just over it. You want to lay it down. You did love this person. Maybe they loved you too. Um, but somebody, I just feel like somebody was holding back. They were just holding back. Maybe they weren't communicating or after this, they're not communicating. Um, when I say this, I mean, this 10 of swords is an ending. They're not communicating anymore. Um, you know, you're just lost your passion, your interest perhaps in pursuing this situation because the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who in reverse, she can be, she can even be greedy. She can be needy, those kinds of things. And so I think the universe is saying here, don't, don't fall prey to that just because you were hoping this would turn out. Don't you become you know, needy over this situation. That's a very unusual message for me to give you on that card. But Kind of what came through um yeah you were hoping this person would come back with an apology and i think what's happening here is this is universe saying you may need to give yourself closure you know we all when a relationship doesn't work out we all definitely want closure we all want that lovely parting of the ways but it seldom happens that way and so i think this is 
universe saying, because this is Major Arcana stepping in here and saying, you need to give yourself closure for this situation. It just, you know, even if it was the right person, it might not have been the right time or vice versa. Yeah, things are going to be look up for you though, Capricorn. Things are definitely going to be look looking up for you. Um, you know, this is being illuminated again, things coming to the light that were hidden about why you, you were so hurt over this. Um, and I think maybe you'd hope that you could reconcile with this person. Now, let me move on to, let's see what deck. This deck, alrighty. So let's see if Spirit has any advice for you for dealing with this for the next month, the upcoming month. Let's see what advice it might have for you. It, they, them. <laughs> Him, however you look at that. Oh, goodness. All right, Spirit, please. Show me what advice you would have for my Capricorns here. Dealing with this love situation for the next month. Thank you. Right, don't self-sabotage. Don't overthink this. I think you're still dreaming, looking back at what would have, could have, should us here on this. But Spirit's saying, look forward. Look forward to what you really want. You know, did you really, I mean, maybe at one time, I think you felt like this might have worked out. You Again, you did have feelings for this person. But Spirit's saying, just go on, move on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Um, I think they're saying this person was not going to be somebody you could depend on. So keep it moving. Yeah, we got the star in the verse again. I know. Don't, it's saying... Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope is what I'm hearing. All right, we'll get a couple of more for you, Capricorn. A couple of more cards, please, Spirit. Ooh, more than a couple, but all right. There's that Queen of Cups in reverse again. Don't be afraid to, yeah, that's, that's what I was hearing. Don't be, and then this card came out. They're saying, don't, let me put it simply. Don't be jaded. Don't be afraid because this happened to give your cup again. You know, this is holding back a cup of love. Again, this, you could even be drinking too much to get over this. I mean, that's one of the meanings of this. These cards in reverse could mean that. Look at the long game. You know, this card is often about timing, where you invest your time and energy. You know, looking at the long game, looking at the long, the bigger picture, long term. And I think you, you're having... Um, well, never mind, I started to say something about this Ace of Swords, but I think where you have not had clarity about this situation, you're starting to think, you're starting to, get, you know, it's like that, you're too close to the trees to see the forest, or however that saying goes, too close to the forest to see the trees, or however that goes. And so I think this is saying you're taking a look now, you're back, you're starting, you're not there yet, but you're starting to back up, um, I think maybe toward the end of the month here, and to look at, you know, what you want to invest in and, and who wants to invest in you and what does that look like. But don't be jaded. Don't be afraid to, to give your cup again. It's just you need a little time to heal is what I'm feeling from this. Um, I'm, I'm just getting a different message here off this Ace of Swords than normal. It's, it's telling me... <clears throat> you're holding back. In other words, I'm surprised the hermit is not here. That's sort of the energy I'm feeling from this Ace of Swords. You're holding back communication. And and that's okay. I, I feel like this is you just taking a time out because you don't have clarity about what how you need to proceed forward yet. But I feel like that's, you know, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, you've made an important choice in your life. You have made a very important choice. And there's the death card showing up again. Now the messages are repeating. This is a very important time of transformation for you. I'm just looking at how many, you know, what major arcanas we have here. So th this relationship is causing you to transform, to change. And that's a good thing. Yeah, you don't... <clears throat> I know you've been confused, you've been wondering, you know, what to do here, this energy, what to do here, I don't know what to do because of this tower, this ending, this tower that's happening with this person, but you're going to get clarity, you're going to know which direction to go, you're going to know what to choose, yeah, 
And now the hand man, hanged man is, is coming out. He's realizing now, um, I know he's in reverse, let's see. He's, let me see what's under that, yeah. I think you're realizing that there was um, deception here. Maybe, you, you know, if you want this person back or, they, or vice versa, they may be saying, well, I'm done, I'm done being stuck here. Or maybe, maybe, it's, maybe I'm rethinking this and I, I'm ready to surrender and now I want to make amends. But see, we still have this energy. And I think what this is saying is you're just going in a circle here. If you're not careful, again, it comes back to these cards. If you're not careful, I think that um, you might, I'm hearing just a, a lot of overthinking and, and that's what's causing this mental up at night anxiety with you worrying about this. I hear somebody out there is afraid they'll never find love again. And that's just not true, y'all. That's just not true. I mean, I'm at 73 years old and I'm still dating and having fun. So it's just not true. You can find love at any age, but you have to be in a vibration to attract that to you. I was talking to somebody on my live broadcast this week about that. You have to match the vibration of that person that you're looking for. So I feel like this message for you, Capricorn, is to do, maybe do some shadow work. Go in, uh, think about what uh, what you're attracting, and take a time out to reflect on where you are emotionally, because I'm just getting a lot of emotional energy with these, even though these are swords, these are thoughts. I'm saying emotion, but you got a lot of cups and, and a lot of swords here, a lot of cups and swords, and so it's, it's a, you know, the mind gets in gear and then our emotions get stirred up and we know how that goes. So I just feel like um, this is stirring you up. I'm going to say it like that. And, and Spirit is saying, don't ever think this. Don't sabotage yourself with this. I heard let it go I just heard if somebody doesn't want to bring you their cup of love let it go look at the long picture the the, the big picture the long game so to speak here and when they, when you have clarity because you won't have it here it's saying right away it's going to take a minute but when you have clarity then you can reverse this Queen of Cups and come back out and um, you know you'll be I won't say healed. I guess you could be, but we, you know, it's sometimes for some of us, it's a lifelong process. Healing is. I want. I keep looking at this Ace of Swords. I want to get a card on this. Give me more information about this Ace of Swords because there's something. There's a message here. I'm not not being able to pull through yet, and I want to be sure and get that out for you. So, tell me more about this Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. There we go. Yeah, you don't have choice. That. Thank you. That's perfect. That, perfect love it love tarot you don't have clarity about what direction you want to go yet I, I get the sense of somebody is feeling like this hurts so bad you want to run away you know it's like that fight or flight that a lot of us have and I know I have that I struggle with that if something's not working out or in a relationship it, if it goes bad I just want to run away I just you know well the hell with you and I'm getting out of here you know kind of thing <laughs> and so I feel like, but, but what Spirit is saying, but you don't know where you're going. It's one thing to leave something. It's not as good to leave something as it is to go towards something. And so I feel like Spirit is saying, you don't have clarity yet about the direction that you want to go after this happens. Give yourself a little time because you're still very confused. But it's also saying what you can't see is that you are going to have a choice where you have more options. So that's two very important messages here. Yes. Uh, can you, we can't get this death card out of here. That's three times now it's shown up. Yeah, you're going to have options, Capricorn. And this is going to, you know, you're creating change. This whole situation is freeing you up to cause a transformation and change that's coming towards you. So put those burdens down and let go of this situation. Yeah, somebody's going to be coming in. Somebody's going to be, you're going to get a message about, and I think this message is going to show you, you do have options. There's more people, there are more fish in the sea, as we say, more fish in the sea. 
Well, I'm liking this. I think, you know, it might be a tough month here with some of these energies, but you got this, Capricorn. You got this. You just have to, you know, it's that bump in the road. We just have to get over it, and then things will start to look better on the other side of it. So I hope this helps somebody out there. And as promised, I'm going to tell you how you can get a free reading. I go live here on YouTube about once a month. And I'm, I'm sorry, not once a month, once a week, once a week. And so if you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell, you will get notified when I do that. Also, you can go to my channel homepage and click the community tab and I will post there. So when I go live, I typically start by doing two free readings. So you will need to get there early if you want a free reading. And then after that, I will be doing readings through the uh, either PayPal or Super Chat. Um, and I'll do a few more readings after that. So that's how you can get a free reading. And again, if this resonated with you, please hit that like button on your way out. I'm so grateful you stopped in today, Capricorn. Thank you so much. And I wish you many, many blessings.